Black women are still dying from cancer at higher rates than any other ethnic group. Now that's despite uh, a decline in US cancer rates. This is a stunning reality. If cancer rates are dropping, but black women are still disproportionately higher, then that means even if black women's rates are, are, are dropping, you know, with the rest of the country, they're still higher than everybody else. So we still haven't figured out the gap. We still haven't figured out why black women's cancer rates are higher than everybody else's. Now, the data shows from the study on 100,000 black women, the data shows that uh, breast cancer kills black women at a 40 percent higher rate than white women, 40 percent higher despite black women being less likely to be diagnosed. So even so, so this speaks to a broader social issue, right? Which is that um, even when black women get the same diseases, we suffer more from them as a community, right? Um, the new study, which is called Voices of Black Women, Voices of, 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 black, of, a black, of black Women is being conducted by the American Cancer Society. They're gonna take 100,000 black women ages 25 to 55 and participants must have no history of cancer and will have their medical records tracked for the next 30 years. I know we often don't want to participate in these kinds of studies. I know we often don't want to uh, be a part of these conversations. I understand why. The reason is simple, right? We have a distrust in the medical community. We have a mistrust of uh, psychiatric establishment, psycho psychological authorities. Uh, we have a long history of the state um, mistreating us, exploiting us, uh, harming us through the medicine. And so when all of those things, when all of those things are in the mix, we don't want to participate in the study. But we need to participate in the study to look at the biological piece of this on the one hand. But we also want to look at the, um, the sociological piece of it the cultural piece of it. We're getting underdiagnosed because we don't go to the doctor as much. That's a potential problem. Um, black women often go to doctors and articulate pain, and that pain is responded to differently than white women's pain. If you look at all the studies, they show that the pain score that you have to have as a black woman is significantly higher than their white counterparts in order to um, get the same pain medicine. So for example, when you walk into a doctor's office, they say on, a, on one to 10 with one being the, you know, no pain, uh, 10 being the worst thing you've ever felt in your life, that you've been hit by a truck, where are you? And you know, black woman comes in and says six or seven, and they're like, okay, well, here's some Tylenol, white woman's getting, you know, actual strong pain medicines. Um, black woman has to say she's at a 10 to get that. Um, I remember, I'm not a black woman, but I remember going to a doctor when I was in, I think I was a new professor. So it was about 2006. Uh, and I was in extreme pain. And I actually wasn't asking for pain medicine because I don't like to take pain medicine. Um, but I went into the doctor and he basically told me he wasn't going to diagnose me. I was at the emergency room at Chestnut Hill Hospital. And what he said was, um, you just, basically, you just want drugs and I'm not giving them to you. And he kind of left the room. And... Um, Adrian just said it. They think you're drug seeking. That's exactly right. And the, the thought that I'm drug seeking is offensive. It's um, wrongheaded, but it's also dangerous because one, people do need those drugs sometimes, but two, um, sometimes the the interpretation of me as a drug seeker means you're not taking my 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 symptoms seriously. You're not taking my complaints seriously. If you're not taking my complaint seriously, then you actually could miss something important. Jazz LP just said, Mark, I had an entire total hysterectomy for another key. Wow. I had a whole hysterectomy for nothing. This, um, I wish I could say that this is the first time I've heard this. You know, I'm sorry that that happened to you, Jazz. That's... I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine. I'm so sorry. The This happens to black women all the time. Omega says, look, yes, all true. I was bleeding internally and it was a last minute judgment call that saved my life and 11th hour survival. Again, often because they're not listening to black women. So there's all of that. 
So when we get to this question of breast cancer, just to, just to bring it back full circle, we want to figure out why black women are less likely to be diagnosed, but die, but dying more. 40% higher rate than white women is crazy. There's nothing that biologically predisposes black women to, to get breast cancer more than white women. Uh, and when you look at sort of the biological differences among races, the differences between a black person and a white person, et cetera, are infinitesimal. So why are we getting at 40% um, rates? I don't know the answer to it. That is not my, my expertise. That ain't my ministry. Uh, but I want to get to it. And that's what we're going to study. This Asia Wilson said, I was, Asia Washington, forgive me. Asia Washington says, I was five months pregnant and treated as drug seeking. So even at five months pregnant, they still think that you're drug seeking. Um, 